Okay guys, welcome to the Girl Guys. You got Girl Guy Chris here. Uh, today we are doing, or I'm doing solo, uh, my take on a breakfast burrito. Uh, for those of you that already have seen Jeff's breakfast burrito video, excellent by the way. If you haven't seen it, we'll throw either a link right up here or in the description. Check it out, he killed it. Chicken fried steak with a habanero bacon sauce. Wow, who does that? Jeff does. Anyways, a lot of credit to Jeff. He really killed it, knocked it out of the park. Came out incredible. But it's my turn, so I'll give you my take on my breakfast burrito. Hopefully a big, good size one. Uh, the good thing about mine is everything, I didn't go shopping for this. This is stuff that I just normally have in my refrigerator. I'll give you guys a quick rundown on this, and then I'm just gonna get right out there and cook it up. But I uh, got some scrambled eggs that I'm gonna put together. Mixed in with some onions, some red peppers. Got some sausage, bacon, bologna. A little fried bologna in there. I, I'm looking forward to this. A uh, Couple cheeses, I got some cheddar, some Mexican. I'm gonna add some Cavendish hash browns. Frozen hash browns, we always have these on hand. The kids love them, we're cooking these all the time. They take like five minutes tops and they come out great. Tastes like a McDonald's hash brown. So I'm gonna try to throw one, maybe two of those in my burrito, right in it. So a uh, couple spices, red pepper, salt pepper. I'm gonna douse it with a little Cholula sauce, some chunky salsa, and some sour cream for the base. So guys, this is it. I mean, it's quick and easy. Uh, and again, it's stuff that's kicking around. You wake up on a Saturday morning, you're hungry, you wanna make a big breakfast burrito, which is this is what this is gonna be. Can't go wrong, so stick around. All right, guys, got the bacon and the sausage down first. Gonna get a little warming tray I got right here. So once the sausage is done, I'll throw that up there as well as the bacon. Uh, but right now, <laughs> smelling delicious. Got this both on low, medium heat right now. Weather's cooperating today, which is really good. It's a uh, little bit on the chilly side, but not terrible. At least the wind died down, which is great. I'm gonna keep doing this, guys. Next after this, I'm gonna throw the hash browns right into the bacon fat once we get a nice little pool here uh, for the throw in there. So cook that right in there. Okay, guys, sauce is just about done. Gonna put those on the warming tray right now. Get my glasses off. Bacon just about done too. Got some nice grease going. Guys, I did want to mention, excuse the look of the griddle. I am still currently uh, in the process of kind of rehabbing it. Uh, I just haven't had all that much time, so I, it doesn't look that great, but I tell you it's clean as than it's ever been. I've got most of that patina off and doing a whole nother season with it now. Um, but we'll get there. We're working, I think Nate mentioned in the last video that we are working towards a solution for all you guys having problems out there. Uh, it's just a work in prog progress and it, uh, it's very time consuming, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll get there, so bear with us on that. These bacon are done. I'm gonna take those right off. Perfect bacon. I'll leave these guys a little bit longer. I'm gonna throw three right there, right in the bacon. Oh, I got four here. Look at that. And these won't take long at all. The sausage is off. Bologna. You know, I feel bad. I'm, I'm probably stealing this from my kids. My kids sometimes get bologna sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> That's why it's in the fridge, so. Let these cook up a little bit. Bacon's just about done. Leave that one a little longer. It's gonna be good. Not Jeff good, but it's gonna be good. A little hole so it can breathe. Put the dog here waiting patiently for me to drop something. Stick around, pal, it will happen.
a little more oil down. All right, we're looking in good. I'll let those cook up a little bit, guys. Gonna pull it off. I'm gonna do a quick clean for the eggs. Very important, you make sure you do a quick clean. Got the peppers and the onions, gonna get those started right now. A little butter to start. Again, we got some low heat going here. Get those right in there. Those right in there. Smells great. It's kind of funny with the other two around, I don't talk that much. <laughs> with them around, I can't shut up. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll be doing more cooks together soon. I think Nate's going to bang his breakfast burrito out next, which I'm sure will be excellent. Whatever he does, I'm not sure what he's planning yet. I'm sure it'll be really good, though. And then we'll move back, uh, hopefully, to all three of us cooking together. Hopefully everybody stays healthy, myself included. Um, and uh, we can continue with the three of us cooking together. So let these go for about another minute or so. Soften them up just a little bit. As you notice, I got everything over here warming. I got bacon, hash browns all ready to go. I'm gonna take that inside as soon as we're done. Come here. Wanna try some bacon? Oh, good boy. Go ahead. Good boy. He deserves it. He's been a good boy. <laughs> all right, guys, so when I throw my eggs in, I always protect myself with a little wall coming this way just so I don't lose any. So just a small wall just to kind of keep it all in there. Let's get it right in there. Spices. And do some red hot. Give it just a little kick. Pepper. Some salt. It's all coming together now. I like, you know, when the eggs, there's not no black on it. You know, it looks nice and yellow. Other than the little pepper specks that I just put in there, that's the bonus to having a nice clean griddle. You're eating just your food you put on there, not the stuff that's on the griddle. And the big burrito. Get that on there to start warming up. And don't want these eggs to overcook. They look just about ready. Colorful, looks good. You know this guys, everything I'm cooking, not long at all. The longest is the bacon. We all have cooked thousands of pounds of bacon already, so we're used to the timing on that. All right, guys, I'm going to bring this all inside, and we're going to build the burrito. Okay, guys, it is build time. Let's start with a little sour cream. Get that right in there. Layer of egg. Next, bacon. I think we can get one more in there. Okay, bacon. Cheese, we'll do some Mexican cheese. Looking good. I'm gonna do, let's go with the hash browns next. Yeah, one full one, and then I'll do, I'll do another half. Looks good. Let's see, some sausage. Let me get this in there. Let's see. There we go, get in there, okay. Uh, you know what, another layer of egg, how about that? This is getting pretty big. <laughs> Let's hope we can still close this. Next. Look at this. Wow. Bologna. 
a little salsa. Yeah. Some cheddar cheese. I hope I could fold this. <laughs> and a final Cholula. I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing I am right now. There's no way I'm going to be able to close this. This is a mountain. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, boy. Stay in there. Stay in there. Wow. That is a big fatty. <laughs> wow. I need myself a cutting board. <laughs> Look at that. Sharp knife. I'm gonna cut right into it. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay. Bang. Bang. Look at that. Holy cow. That is beautiful right there. Look at all that color. Jeez. Well, it's got to taste good too. Going to be able to eat it. I'm going to give it a taste try right now, guys. If I can get it all in my mouth. That is really pretty. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is good. I got the bacon, the sausage, the hash brown, the salsa. The onions and peppers in the egg are huge. Taste that right away. Mmm. Oh, wow, is that good. The Cholula. Perfect. And two different cheeses. It, I taste it all. That was very good. I'm going in again. Mmm. Done. <laughs> Jeff's done. That is really good. Guys, give it a try. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. I'm sure most of you are gonna like Jeff's. I think I like, like Jeff's better. His look like a lot of work. This is a little bit on the simpler side. Again, stuff kicking around. Taste is very good. Um, let me know what you think. If you're new, please think about subscribing. Give us a like. Appreciate all our support from our fans. We are coming up on 30K subs right now. Fantastic stuff, guys. We really, really appreciate it. Nate's up next. We'll see what he's got. Look forward to it. Take care, guys.